The Wonder Years is about a lot of different things, but it is about a family in Montgomery, Alabama, 1968. It's a trip. The little things that you remember all your life. Your first kiss, your first hit, the first time your dad lets you know that he sees you. People watching The Wonder Years will have that feeling of having their first again. It's just nostalgia, hashtag nostalgia. I gagged when I saw the costumes, the detail to production design. I choked on the music. The music is everything. I mean, if you really turn your back to the cameras, you really look like you're in the 60s. I loved how Saladin and Fred created this world that felt familiar to me. Black people deserve the privilege of having nostalgia. We do have our own experiences to celebrate. The reimagining uh, of the Wonder Years that we're working on now is uh, kind of a spiritual and tonal cousin to the, to the first. Thank God we worked on that MLK presentation together all those years ago. If Dean hadn't done his own project, I would have never proposed to you. We all feel like a family, even from the start, and I really love that about working on the show. I'm just honored to be able to come back to it and you know bring a new perspective to the show, and hopefully live up to what it was. Hope you're hungry. <laughs> what? I am very proud of this catch. <laughs> Aren't you supposed to use that to catch bigger fish? <laughs> it ain't nothing but eyes and a tail. Stop it, you two. Mind your manners. Oh. Now, Kim, go get the tiny plates from your dollhouse so we can eat this thing. <laughs> there are things that are going to be very familiar, but there are situations that are going to be very unique to this family. I couldn't even imagine telling a story from 1960s without including what was going on, especially to the black community. So, who gonna be there? Mildred, Vesta, Kwame X. Kwame X? What kind of stupid ass militant name is that? His name is Albert, Albert, and you're not going. Mama and daddy thought Kim's boyfriend was a bad influence. I think that's why she liked him. We spent a lot of time trying to figure out who our narrator was gonna be. We needed someone whose voice carried that weight but could also be funny. That's the problem with being the youngest. By the time you're born, all the good parts have been handed out. <sighs> stupid play. I mean, sheep number three, really, but 12 was the age I was gonna figure out what my bag was. You get some dramatic stuff, you get some funny stuff, but at the end of the day, it all ties in to make it something that's just great.